Welcome back. So we continue revising uh, the 2024 past paper. Uh, we are on quest uh, question three now. Okay, so question three is on partial fractions. Uh, we have polynomials there and quadratic uh, equations. Okay, specifically roots of uh, quadratic equations. So we are going to solve all these questions here. All right, so let's start with uh, the first one. So the first one, they're saying express the following as partial fractions. Okay, and they have given us uh, this one and this one. So we have to decompose this into partial fractions. Okay, so for example, if I have f of x being divided by g of x. Okay, so these are the two, uh, two functions that I have. And then they tell you to decompose this into partial fractions. Okay, so the first thing that you should check, okay, is that the degree... In the denominator is greater than the degree in the what in the numerator okay so for example if in the numerator i have x okay and then down there i have x squared okay plus one something like that so we see that the degree so the degree is this power here okay so the degree in the denominator two is greater than the degree in the numerator okay so if that is satisfied then we can go on straight away and decompose into partial fra uh, partial fractions using the rules that we learned. Okay, but in a case, okay, where this is not uh, um, true, for example, I have x to the power three, and then down there I have x plus one. Okay, we see that the degree in the numerator it's greater than the degree in the denominator. Okay, so here we can't just go straight and decompose into partial fractions. No. Okay, we first have to divide these two expressions using long division. Okay, and once we do long division, okay, if I divide f of x by g of x using long division, what I'll get is the coefficient plus the remainder divided by the g of x. Okay, so this one, we're going to leave it alone. What we're going to decompose, it will be this one. Okay, so we want to find this remainder and then divided by g and then we decompose it okay so that's how we are going to move okay so we do this if the degree in the numerator there is greater than the degree in the what in the numerator okay so this case here is what we see on question what a1 okay so i'll say let my f of x be x to the power 4 minus 6x squared plus 3 and then I'm dividing this, okay, by g of x. So let my g of x be what I can see there in the denominator, which is x, x plus 1 squared. So let's expand this to know the degree. So this one, uh, x plus 1 to the power 2, okay? If I multiply x plus 1 by x plus 1, what I get is x squared plus x multiplied by 1, it will be x, and then 1 multiplied by x, it will be x. So, so I have plus 2x, and then 1 multiplied by 1, it will be what? 1. So plus 1 there. Okay, and then I multiply with the x, it's going to give me x to the power 3 plus 2x squared plus x. So this is my g of x if I expand this. Okay, so I'll write it in the denominator there. Okay, so here we notice that, okay, the highest uh, power here is 4. The highest power there is 3. So it means the one in the numerator, 4, is greater than the one in the denominator. So we cannot decompose this uh, this one straight away. We first have to divide these two using what? Long division. Okay, so we learned how to do the long division. Okay, so I'm just going to apply it here. So this one, okay, is dividing this one with a higher degree. So it will be x to the power 3 plus 2x squared plus x. And then we're dividing, okay, x to the power 4, okay? Now, the secret is that this guy on top here, when you're dividing with this expression here, the powers on x should go down smoothly. So from x power 4, the next one should be plus x, uh, 0x to the power 3. Since we don't have a power 3 here, so just put it as a place order 0 x to the power 3 then minus x to the power 2 so the next one should be x to the power 1 but we don't have x to the power 1 here 
So I'm going to write plus 0x. And then the one which does not have x, okay? Or x to the power 0 like that. And then we, we can begin our division. So we'll say x to the power 3 divided into x to the power 4. I get x. Then x multiplied by this. I get x to the power 4. x multiplied by this. I get plus 2x to the power 3. x divide, uh, multiplied by x. I get uh, plus uh, x squared. Okay, and then here, I'll, I'll say subtract. So let's subtract. What do we get? This one minus this one, I'll get zero. And then here, it will be zero minus 2x to the power 3. So I get minus 2x to the power 3. And then here, it will be minus 6x squared minus x squared. So that will be minus 7x what? Squared. Okay, and then I'll drop this zero x like that okay and then now let's divide okay x to the power 3 into minus 2x to the power 3 i'm going to get it minus 2 minus 2 multiplied by this i get minus 2x to the power 3 minus 2 multiplied by this i get minus 4x squared minus 2 multiplied by this i get minus 2x okay so from there we're just going to subtract Okay, so minus 2x to the power 3, okay, minus minus 2x to the power 3 is going to give me 0. And then here, it will be minus 7x to the power 2 minus, minus 4 to the power 2. So this will just be minus 7 and then plus 4, which will be minus 3. Okay, so here, I'm going to write minus 3x to the power 2. And then uh, here, it will be 0 minus minus this one. Okay, it will be 0 minus minus 2x. So that will be plus 2x. Okay, and then I can drop down this 3, plus 3. Okay, so we try to divide x to the power 3 into here, into uh, x, into minus 3x squared. It can't. Okay, so we end here. So it means this one here is our remainder. This one here is our what? Is our cube. Okay, so let me write them here. So our quotient is x minus 2. Our remainder is minus 3x squared plus 2x plus what? 3. Okay, so now we can carry out the partial decomposition. Okay, so we have x to the power 4, okay, minus 6x squared plus 3 divided by x, x plus 1 squared. This one has given me, okay, the quotient. And then I'll say plus the remainder divided by what? This same uh, divisor. Okay. So now it is this part that we're going to decompose into partial fraction and then add it to this to get the final ones. Okay. So let's decompose this guy. So it will be minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x x plus 1 squared is equals 2. So it will be a over the first factor, a, and then plus b over. So since this one is a repeating factor, we write it twice, but in increasing powers. So the first one will be x plus 1 to the power 1, and then plus c over x plus 1 to the power 2. Okay, and then from here, we multiply throughout by this denominator here. So x, x power 1 squared. So if I multiply this whole thing with this whole thing, okay, this and this will cancel. So we're just going to remain with minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equals 2. Okay, x, x plus 1 squared multiplied by a over x means the x and the x will cancel. So I'll just remain with a x plus 1 squared plus b multiplied by this. I'm going to get b x. Okay, one of these x plus 1 will cancel. So I'll remain with another x plus 1. So I'll remain with x and then x plus 1. So I can multiply this to b x squared plus x. And then plus, okay, c. If I multiply this with this, okay, 
the x plus 1 squared, x plus 1 squared will cancel. So I'll just remain with the cx. Okay, so here now we can try to expand and find the values of a and the values of what? b and the values of c. Okay, so what we have is minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equals 2. Okay, let's expand x plus 1. x plus 1 is x squared plus 2x plus 1. So then we multiply by a, we get a x squared plus 2ax plus a. Then here we're going to get plus b x squared plus b x plus c x. So that is our expansion. So let's group them now. Those who have squared together. So this one and this one, it will be a plus b. And then I factorize this x squared. Okay, the ones with the x's, I have this, this, and that one. So it will be plus 2x, a uh, 2a plus b plus c, and then the x outside. And then the ones without any x, I just have a. So plus a. It's equals to minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3. Okay, so this simply means that my a is equals to 3. So I write a is equals to what? three okay and it also means that a plus b is equals to what minus three so this simply means b is equals to minus b minus three which will be equals to b is equals to um okay so here i was supposed to put minus a because i'm taking this a and putting it to the other side right so b is equals to minus a but a is three minus three so this will just be minus six so b is equals to what minus c, 6. So we are only remaining with the c. Okay, so how can we find c? We use the, uh, the terms with the x. Okay, so the term with the x here is just 2. Here it's 2a plus b plus c. K is equals to 2. But we know the values of a. Okay, a is 3. b is minus 6. And then plus C should give me 2. Okay, so this is 6 minus 6. So this here becomes 0. So it means my C is just what? 2. All right, so we are done uh, decomposing this. So we write it now as a decomposed fraction to just be equals to X minus 2. Then when I decompose this, okay, I get A. So I write it big plus. I get 3, which is A over X. Okay. And then um, uh, I get minus 6 over x plus 1, okay? And then I get plus 2, which is c over x plus 1 squared. Okay, so this is the decomposed uh, form of this fraction. So we have expressed this into its what? Partial fractions. <clears throat> okay, let's solve b or uh, a part two so thank you for watching this video so if you'd like to access the full video to the final exam that they had uh, last year okay you are free to uh, register and you're going to find uh, you're going to find it on our website so we've solved all these questions here from section a okay and then even the questions from section b so question one question two, uh, question three, question four. We've solved all these questions, so you can access them in your, uh, you can access them on our website for your easy preparation for the exam. You can also access the tests, okay, and the quizzes uh, on the website. You can also access the solutions in video form, okay, for all the tutorial sheets that you had uh, in the January intake. So thank you so much for watching and all the best.